Right. Tis the season for a fresh start. We're talking about spring cleaning your beauty routine with a special look at how this helps mature skin glow. Jeannie Rule of Elements Beauty Shop of Carytown explains. All right, we've mm. got a lot of ground to cover. We do, we do. The important thing to remember is that all beauty products expire and will go bad. Of course, you can always give it the, the eye test, the smell test, and sometimes the, the taste test. If it doesn't look right to you or smell right, get rid of it. Get rid of it right away. Most beauty products last about a year. Okay. Okay. Uh, foundation, about six months to a year. The exception to all the rules is mascara and eye products. This, the mascara I'm familiar with, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I try to be very focused yeah. on, that's only three months. About three months, okay. yes, absolutely. And if you have a dry mascara because, you know, you put it aside uh, and you take it out and you want to add water to it, don't do it. It just becomes a breeding ground for germs and eye infection. Okay. So the most important thing about remembering to uh, get rid of your old expired products is that they will contain germs uh, that are airborne and also when you touch them, of course, you are giving them germs as well. The air oxidizes our products, which also starts to degrade the ingredients. So this is why uh, you have to be vigilant. What happens is that these expired products can give us infections, skin infections, eye infections, dermatitis and other issues that we are desperately trying to avoid. Yeah, you're trying to <laughs> right. almost combat right, a lot of those right. issues. Because the to irritation to the skin is a very large factor in uh, aging, okay? Um, the next really important factor in aging is the sun. It is not necessarily our friend. We must go out every day of the year with an SPF and we have to step it up in the spring especially because all of a sudden we're exposing more of our skin and we're out a little bit longer. So we have to be aware that SPF is our best friend when it comes to preventing aging of our skin or at least slowing it down or improving some of the situations that we may have such as dark spots mm -hmm. from too much sun exposure, mm -hmm. okay? So we have to look at different products that will help us to take care of that. Okay. Um, they can be, in the spring, we can start adding in a little bit of our retinoid that we avoided in the winter because our skin suffers from such dryness in the winter. We don't want to have any retinoids in the winter. But in the spring, we can start adding them in. But remember, our skin is in shock. We may be going, yay, the sun but our skin is in shock. We've been like a mole in a hole right. all year. You have to like <laughs> right. ease into it. That's right, so you ease into it. Our skin becomes a little bit oilier because of the moisture that is now returning to the air. So our skin makes the adjustment. Um, so we want to do something else that's very important next to SPF, change our moisturizer to a lighter formula. Okay. We can't keep continuing to use those heavy winter formulas because they will tend to clog our skin, which is now oilier because just normally is what happens. Yeah. Okay? So Jeannie, what I'm hearing is clear out that outdated stuff. Right. There's your spring cleaning. Make mm -hmm. room on your shelf for the new goodies. Yes. You want to make sure that you are looking for that SPF because that's Absolutely. really important mm -hmm. and doing that every day. Now a lot of makeup products come with SPF. Is that yes. sufficient? Um, it is sufficient if you use it liberally. Okay. Okay. Remember also if you're just going from the house to the car into your office you probably will have enough but remember your chest to do your chest to do your neck because when you're driving in the car hands are on the wheel and your neck will get sun mm -hmm. exposure and you will be uh, very unhappy uh, also you know your face so you want to be sure to be liberal with your SPF okay um, it can be in your moisturizer and it can be in your foundation you need to aim for an SPF of about 30 okay every single day Every and, single day. And most make, makeup mm -hmm. products, if you're lucky, are only a 15. So mm -hmm. you really need to pay mm -hmm. attention to that. Yes, you do. And Absolutely. then also, it's important to take that seasonal perspective because the formulations are different. Yes. But Jeannie, i got to be honest. I'm one of those folks, I have such heartburn 
doing the sweep of the stuff because <laughs> you've kind of invested yeah. a lot in it, yeah. you know? You have, you have. And it's hard, but it will give you problems later on that will make you very unhappy. So one of the things that you can do to protect yourself is to look at products and sometimes on the back of a product mm -hmm. or somewhere there is something called the um, period of one. opening. Oh, mm -hmm. good, okay. And it's a jar that has that's open and it has a number mm -hmm. and it will tell you it is good for nine Ooh, months past is. the period mm -hmm. of the opening time. Now, is. how do you know? Well, you know, if you forgot what when you went to get your, your products, um, you can write it with a sharpie, and, and yep, that's here why it is. there I was it is. Talking Our... about that with you, mm -hmm. so um, can I write on this? Yes, one? please. Go so right you ahead. might like do you know open mm -hmm. whatever date it was. Let's mm -hmm. say we did it today, three right. thirty fifteen. Mm -hmm. But you know what happens to me? Mm -hmm. I did this with my mascara because I was trying to be good. And I told you it wipes off. Yes, it does. So what do I do? So a good idea is to get a sticky, um, uh, like an Avery label. That's oh. what I'm trying to say, a label. And then write on the label. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that will not uh, go away. And put it on the end where you don't usually put your hands. Okay. Um, um, maybe on the Keep top the of the product. Keep dirty hands Yeah, well, you know, because <laughs> whenever you get oil on your hands, oil is, you know, it takes things away. Yeah. It just I does. love a good excuse to use the uh, the label maker. But, you know, <laughs> it did surprise me when you had sent us some, some notes about making sure that some of that other makeup was cleared out because we do have a tendency to, and I know, Everybody watching right now yep. has that drawer of all those eyeshadows mm -hmm. they've been saving for a special occasion. Yes. But you do want to clear mm -hmm. those out. Yes, you do. I mean, eyeshadows you may look at, they may be good for maybe two years, mm -hmm. but really think about it. And oh, one really, really important thing to keep your products healthy for your use is to clean those brushes. All right. And to get rid of those uh, disposable sponges. Clear when, them out. One use. Spring non disposable, 